You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a face that's familiar to Brockton viewers, Pat Monteith. Hi, Pat. How you doing? Good. Welcome to welcome to Greater Brockton. <laughs> Thanks for doing sure. all that you do over at the Brockton Public Library with our maker space. Mm -hmm. I go over there for all sorts of things, and I see engaged young people in our new maker space up there. Mm -hmm. I saw Keith there the other day. We were do, we were at another event that was done and I saw you and it was, I don't know, 6, 6.30 at night. Sure. You kind of live there, right? <laughs> and help all the young people of Brockton. I have been. It started when I was um, helping some students with their science fair projects. So I was at the library using the study rooms and then I had one student who needed to leave her project there and work on her project there. And um, I went to Lucia Shannon, um, who used to be the head of adult services before she retired. And I said, I need a room to keep something. And she opened this room for me. And I said, oh, this would make a nice makerspace. She said, what's that? And the rest, as they say, is history. Makerspace is great. We have one over at Southeastern Voc Tech, mm -hmm. and that's where our students have built the tiny houses. We've built two tiny houses, I which know. is really cool. I actually saw one of them. Yeah, and there will be, a, I think there's another opportunity in our open house in November that people can still buy tickets for it. Oh, okay. uh, the first one that got it was a gentleman who got divorced, only had no place to put the house, but that's a whole <laughs> nother story. But the second one, they did radiant heating in the floor. You would be Ooh. really excited about that, all the physics that went into it, mm -hmm. the carpentry, the plumbing, all of that, but I'm not going to talk about Southeastern. I'll do that another time. Sure. Um, big library supporter because mm -hmm. I'm not just chairman of the board, but that was my first job that I ever had when I was 15 really? years old. That's why I mm -hmm. like the library, love okay. the library. I work with Lucia mm -hmm. way back in the day mm -hmm. and with Brenda Rodriguez and the other people when we had closed stacks. I was the guy that they rang the buzzer and in the Dewey Decimal System and we got the book because <laughs> it was a Carnegie, a Carnegie Library, everyone pronounces it differently, mm -hmm. and 1912, 1913, and it was glass floors and metal stairs, and wow. I'd sit in the back, but the best part is if I wasn't working, I was reading. So you were there in 1912? No, no, I'm not that <laughs> old. I know people think I'm old lately. I was there in the 70s. David Crosby, the former mayor of Brockton, mm -hmm had a Master of Library Science degree, and the only mm -hmm. purely political patronage job I ever got was Dave said, you want to work at the library. That's a good first job for you, kid. <laughs> and I worked there, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And if I wasn't working in a library, I was going to a library. Mm -hmm. My parents had a place in Hull. Hull has a wonderful public library and an old Victorian house, and I'd oh. ride my bike halfway across Hull to go mm -hmm. get books and I'd, it was fun balancing the books back in the day because the bikes weren't built like they are now. But anyway, so during the summer there's a lot of activities going on in the maker space. Mm -hmm. um, there's still a few weeks left of summer and we're heading into the fall. So what's the latest and greatest over there? Um, there's so much happening on a regular basis. Right now we're doing what I call directed activities on Tuesday evening um, from 5 to 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, we'll stay later if somebody's there late, you know, wants to stay a little bit later. Um, and so a directed activity means everybody's working on the same project. There's working, you know, um, they could be working collaboratively. And that's one of the things I love about makerspaces is it gets the kids working as part of a team or in a group um, to be able to get something done. They're sharing ideas, they're sharing information, um, even though they're still working on their own individual projects. On Wednesday, Wednesday afternoons now, is an open activity, which means you can come in at 1 o'clock and you can work on anything that's there in the makerspace. So today we had a couple of students. One was working with a 3D pen. The other was working with this kind of robot that puts that gets together with magnets. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. I was looking at some 3D printer software. I know we're, we're still going to work <laughs> on that. 3D printers are the rage. If you mm -hmm. see what they make, I mean... Sure. There's prosthetics for oh, 3D yeah. printers. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about the gun. We're not going to go no, there. We won't go um, there. I'm kind of surprised by all of that, to be honest with you. We are working with those over at Southeastern as well, and it's like the rage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I cannot believe you can make things with a printer. To me, it's like, sure. I mean, I like technology, and sometimes I don't, but that 3D is, is, is fun. We actually have a group of kids that we're taking over to the Bridgewater Makerspace this evening to uh, be part of a three session workshop on how to use a 3D printer, learning the software and actually building things. 
um, hopefully we'll have our uh, own 3D printer there at the library sooner so than later. So where's the Bridgewater? Is it at the Bridgewater Library? No, it's um, it's Bridgewater actually State? no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. it's actually um, in a computer repair shop. Oh wow! Yeah, okay, uh, right there on Central Square. Oh, I think I know the. There's a young woman and there's it, three it, people involved. They came in to there. Rotary. I think it spoke. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to remember her name. I mean, it was a 7:30 in the morning. No, and, that sounds. No. And Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, Kelsey. Chelsea. Kelsey. That's, That's it, right. Yeah, right. That's who came and spoke. Yeah. They came to yeah. one of our Bridgewater Rotary sure. meetings. Um, so, does this activity end at the end of the summer, or does it go into the fall? Or tell us. Um, when we started, when we opened the makerspace last July, so it's been a little over a year. Um, we've gone pretty continuously, except I think for three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so when the school year starts, um, you know, the Wednesday time will adjust. But now that the library is going to be open till 9 o'clock at night, which makes me very, very and happy. And on another day. We have uh, a whole extra right. day. Yeah, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday till 9. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty thrilled about that. So we'll probably shift the Wednesday time to, you know, maybe 4 to 8 or something like that. That's um, great. So it's it's fantastic. And we got a teen center room, teen room know, over there too, right. and yeah. we have ESL, so people mm -hmm. can learn other languages. Sure. And I mean, we've always envisioned that to be a community center, right. and that's what we're trying to do. And we're going to open the branches more too. So right. hopefully we'll it. branch out at some of the branches too. <laughs> it's hard to do multiple spaces, especially with volunteers. Well, um, we're at, we're at a point at the maker space where we're bursting at the seams. Right. I mean, sometimes we have as many as 14 kids show up, mm. um, and the place maybe can comfortably hold 10, yeah. 12 if you push it. Uh, the day the 14 showed up, um, Keith and I were looking at each other, just shaking our heads, saying, okay, now what? <laughs> well, we, we are, um, the library is about to embark on a strategic plan. Um, because in order to get grant money from mm -hmm. the state, from the Board of Library Commissioners, we have to have a planning process, and Paul says we have about a year to develop it, and we're going to have community input meetings. Mm -hmm. So if we hear from the community, hey, we need this, that, and the other thing, we're going to try to do it. We've been very fortunate. The mayor has supported our budget. The city councilors have supported our budgets. One of the few things everybody agrees on is libraries are good, and we're going to, we're going to fund them. Okay. I, I was pleasantly surprised this year to see such a huge increase in the library budget, to be perfectly honest. But it's needed. I mean, every time I go into the library now, especially the last two years, that place is teeming with people. It's just wonderful to see. Parking issues, but that's a good issue. We're working on all of that. Okay. So, Pat, <laughs> thank you for doing what you do as a volunteer. And I know that's not the only thing you're involved in, the NAACP <laughs> and other great work. So yeah. thanks for doing what you're doing. Absolutely. It's appreciated. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.